Hi, welcome to this short video. It's Fiona Masterson from the Learning Reservoir. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what Qzit is. Qzit provides instructions to FDA inspectors for conducting medical device quality system, GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices Inspections. It's basically a guidebook, an inspection guidebook that FDA inspectors can use when they are conducting GMP, QSR audits of medical device facilities, or, they, or as they call them, inspections. It's an optional FDA inspection process. They don't have to follow the cues of methodology and it's quality system oriented. So rather than check every aspect of the quality uh, system of a firm, the subsystem approach focuses on those elements that are most important in meeting the requirements of the QSR, which are key quality indicators. For kappa, how many open kappas do you have? Do you have 100? Do you have 5? How many closed ones do you have? How long do your kappas remain open, for example? Are they open for 10 months? Are they open for 3 months? What's the trend? Have you reopened kappas for some reason that wouldn't be good why because it's telling you that you didn't get to the root cause of the problem are there repeat issues with kappa and so on um so they're the key quality indicators there they will give an inspector a quick overview of the system is it working is it not what does cues it do well it's a guide for the inspector so in this slide here we can see the map it's giving the inspectors a guide on how to do an inspection of the quality system of a medical device company. It identifies four major subsystems to evaluate and states the purpose and importance of each subsystem. It provides flowcharts within the CUSA document and inspectional objectives to cover during the inspection. It provides narrative descriptions describing how to perform the inspection of each subsystem. And it provides tables for statistical sampling of records for review. All of that is in the Q. Here is the table of contents from the QZIP manual. And don't forget, it's written for the inspectors. It's not written for a manufacturer. So the language is, you inspect this. This is the flow chart you can use i.e. it's talking to the inspectors. It starts off with it performing subsystem, subsystem inspections, a bit of introduction there. Then it talks about pre-announced inspections. Then it gives advice to the inspectors how to get started. And then we have our major subsystem, subsystems, which are management controls, design controls, corrective and preventative actions, production and process controls. And then at the end, it gives some guidance and sampling plans. That concludes this short video, giving you an overview about what the quality system inspection technique is. I have put a link to Qzit in the description section of this video. Uh, I've also put a link to a um, e-learning course that we offer that takes you through um, the cues it inspection technique when you focus on design controls and kappa um, and you might find those beneficial if you want to learn more um, gain more in-depth knowledge around that area if you like this video please hit like for us and subscribe to our channel for similar content